A wise man once said, Be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful. A quote from one of the greatest investment geniuses of our time. Bitcoin's dominance has been exploding, but soon the real winners will be altcoins. Decentralized, scalable, and most importantly, fundamentally strong. We're going to be looking at 7 promising cryptocurrencies that you need to watch coming up. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss any new videos. 2017 gave birth to one of the biggest cryptocurrency rallies of all time. Cryptomania was running wild. From Ethereum to Dogecoin, it seemed like every single altcoin in existence was seeing 100x returns. It was like shooting fish in a barrel until the bear market came and stopped the gains in their tracks. It was the end of a cycle. Bull markets, bear markets, rallies and downturns. It's all a cycle. And like all cycles, they have a tendency to rhyme and repeat themselves. It's only a matter of time before we see yet another euphoria filled altcoin season. And while everyone else is running scared, that's the time to be ready by picking the projects that have the highest chance of success. Here are some of these projects. BAT could genuinely be one of the most revolutionary crypto projects out there as it aims to redesign the future of online advertising by rewarding your attention. Similar to how Bitcoin was born out of the global financial crisis, BAT was born out of the online advertising crisis. With Facebook and Google, user privacy has become a casualty in an ever-increasing consumer surveillance ad model that relies on tracking and profiling users. If you're seeing this video, you're probably using a web browser. Heck, you might be even using the Brave browser. It's led by tech pioneer Brandon Icke, the co-founder of Mozilla and Firefox, and creator of JavaScript. If anyone knows how to build a quality web browser from the ground up, it's him. The Brave browser is one of the few success stories of this crypto market cycle. The BAT team created an in-house native browser which has built out an entire digital advertising ecosystem around its native token, BAT. BAT tokens are the native currency that are used by the system. Users will be rewarded for their attention and will no longer have to sacrifice their data, privacy or web experience. With millions of users, the ad-blocking, wallet-enabled browser has only gotten better as time passes and it's now able to rival major players like Chrome and Firefox. Brave Browser is likely to be one of the first to introduce crypto to the mainstream via its built-in ads reward platform. Users get rewarded for browsing the internet while earning BT based on their attention. It's one of the few altcoins that actually solves a problem and has long-term viability. It's not a matter of if Brave will disrupt digital advertising, it's a matter of when. Blockchain and smart contracts are revolutionary and useless until they can get access to reliable data from the real world. This is where Chainlink comes in. In the blockchain world, we call a universally trusted source an oracle. It's an agent who finds and verifies real world information and submits it to a blockchain for a smart contract to use. Chainlink is a decentralized oracle platform which connects to real world applications and data. It aims to bridge the gap between blockchain and legacy systems. Basically, Chainlink takes information that is external to blockchain applications and puts it on chain. If you think that smart contracts are going to be a big deal, then the tool that Chainlink is building is going to be a core part of that. Link is solving a problem faced by every smart contract platform. It doesn't matter if it's Ethereum, Cardano or Tron, every smart contract platform will need an order Oracle solution to connect to the real world, and Link might just be the end game solution for this. Hyundai, LG, Samsung. What do you get when you combine one of the world's most technologically innovative countries and blockchain? You get Icon. 
your physical ID card could be a thing of the past as Icon Loop's My ID Alliance is aiming to make this a reality. Icon's parent company Icon Loop has recently made national news in South Korea. All eyes are on a new type of blockchain identification service called My ID, which is expected to be launched in 2020. It is set to radically improve and expand the way people and businesses use authentication in their day-to-day -day lives. Icon Loop's My ID Alliance is currently backed by 39 partners from various financial and non-financial sectors with the goal of connecting and expanding the IDs of countries all around the world. This opens up a whole new world of use cases for the public chain which utilizes ICX. Currently, Icon Loop is discussing ways to integrate My ID onto smartphones. Since Samsung is one of their many ecosystem partners, it's likely that we will see My ID pre-installed onto future Samsung Galaxy devices. Icon is finally decentralized, and with My ID, ICX will be ready to open a new paradigm for global digital identification. Born in a bear market, Energy has rocketed into many traders' awareness and for good reason. It has most of the features you'd expect in a blockchain project. Decentralization, an on-chain governance model, its own wallet, and trustless transactions. But what really makes it stand out is its self-funding treasury system. You can create the best cryptocurrency in the world, but it doesn't matter if nobody knows about it. A project can only succeed if they have funding. If if you look at companies like Nike or Apple, these companies are successful because they are able to market themselves. That's why Energy have taken the idea of a self-funding treasury to the next level with one of the largest percentage allocations to the treasury of any masternode blockchain. A full 40% of the released NRG goes to the treasury. These funds are used every month for marketing and development of the project. This is meant to ensure longevity for the project providing funds to improve technology, grow the community, and to compensate developers. This alone makes them a real standout. For Energy, 2020 will be a year of adoption, with campaigns to build energy merchant acceptance world. The role of blockchain in finance is ever-growing. In fact, it's a $300 trillion market. Fusion is a project that aims to tap into just that. It's making waves in the decentralized finance space having signed more than 40 partnerships over the last 12 months. Fusion released their mainnet in June. Today, there are more than 300 nodes validating transactions on the network, earning close to 40% annualized staking rewards. Fusion boasts a rich feature set that includes tools for peer-to-peer -to -peer exchange, time locking, asset digitization, and more. However, their most exciting piece of technology will be launched by the very end of 2019. It's called Distributed Control Rights Management, and it solves the problem of interoperability between blockchains. To put it simply, DCRM works by sharding private keys and distributing them between network nodes. This allows for a custodial account to be controlled and managed by a blockchain. This is called distributed custody. DCRM will be used by banks, exchanges, custody providers and more to improve their connectivity, operations and enhance their security modules. I expect 2020 to be a huge year for Fusion as they continue to build on exciting tech and push forward with adoption. Another South Korean project that aims to impress. Phantom is a cryptocurrency that does not use blockchain. Instead, it uses an innovative approach called DAG. Without dwelling on the technical details, to put it simply, unlike blockchains, it's infinitely scalable with the capacity to do virtually anything that's done today on the internet. For example, it could be used as the nervous system for smart cities. It could be the infrastructure backbone for a complex 
complex network of devices connected via the Internet of Things. A key innovation Phantom has pioneered is the Lachesis consensus. This enables Phantom to settle transactions instantly and run smart contracts at high speeds. In recent testing, it achieved 25,000 transactions per second. Once launched, it could reach speeds exceeding 100,000 transactions per second. Other DAG-based cryptocurrencies have similar aspirations, but Phantom can also run smart contracts. Most recently, they have launched a white-labeled stablecoin issuance solution, an infrastructure on which institutions or governments can issue fiat-backed stablecoins, which is already being adopted by several companies. Be greedy when others are fearful. When everyone else is running scared, that's the time to be an optimist. This is where the real money is made. If you made it to the end of this video, let me know in the comments which project you're most bullish on in 2020. Also, make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching. Mineable out. Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Got